Hello, all conference participants. Great honor and responsibility to speak in front of you. Many thanks to all conference organizers for the opportunity to join the event. Let me highlight the main topics and introduce what we are going to tell. Uh, first of all, we are going to explain what is the slate. Then we are talking about the problem, then about solution, then the, we explain the pillars of sign language recognition, then about Slay AI, and in finally, about roadmap and conclusions. Let's talk about the mission. We are Slate, and our mission is to break communication barriers between deaf and hearing people. We want to do so by providing a new technology capable of recognizing sign language in real time from any device. Let me introduce the team. My name is Evgeny and I'm about the product, research and design. Antonio is an engineer and artificial intelligence wizard. Dr. Bill is a sign language expert and represents the interest of the deaf community on the project. Unfortunately, he was not able to attend the conference, but he has a couple of thoughts that he wants to share. Let's watch his short video message. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about the problem. According to the World Health Organization, in the world, there will be approximately 2 billion and a half people with hearing clues by 2015 year. Imagine how important is it to be ready to provide supplement technologies which are able to unlock accessibility in the daily communication at work, in universities, hospitals, or with friends. Nowadays, then everything is done remotely by video calls. The fact that deaf people can communicate spontaneously with the hearing world is frustrating. We aim to deliver a solution that will provide sign language translation and closed captions during video call from any device. This is a big challenge. We are on way to our goal and have already achieved impressive results. Let my partner Antonio take, talk about accomplishments and the challenges we face. Antonio, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Evgeny. Yeah, so basically let's start by introducing our prototype, what we have right now. This is real, this works right now. And our prototype is capable of running 200 ASL signs in real time from a four-year-old PC. So let's go ahead and, and check what, what is the research we've got and what are the pillars of sign language recognition and how this affects uh, our project. So mainly the four uh, pillars are data, the quality of this data, the software and hardware we're using for it, and sign language research, of course. So let's go one by one. Uh, we first have the data. Uh, the data means basically the resources, especially video resources, we have to train the artificial intelligence. So 
we need lots of video resources. We need different models on the video because if we train the videos with the same person, it will only learn to recognize the same person. Then we need different environments on the background. It's not useful to have only a white, a white uh, background. We need to have several different backgrounds. And finally, we need to train the AI with different accents and, and speeds because people, not all people talk the same way. Then we have quality, of course, which is, first of all, uh, camera quality, like the definition of the camera. It, we have some videos uploaded on YouTube and other platforms that are honestly very old and the quality is just not good enough to detect the, the key features of body, arms and facial expressions. And then we also need videos without noise. When I say videos without noise, what I mean is the sign cut from beginning to end properly, like no other movements, no other people appearing in the video, etc. They need to be clear and understandable for the artificial intelligence. Then we go to software and hardware. We want this to run on any device common to people without the need of additional hardware. We don't want to use gloves or anything. So we need to make sure that our technology runs on computers, laptops, and mobile phones. On our current state, we're capable of running computers and laptops, as we told you for the prototype, but we're still working on a, the optimization process for the, for the mobile phones. Then, of course, sign language research this is probably one of the most important. And this is the study of the language. When we compare it to voice recognition systems, for example, we have thousands of books and thousands of recordings to, to train AI for the grammar of spoken and written English. But we don't have all of these uh, resources for, for sign language. We need to study the frequency of words and we need to study average speed of each gesture. This is very important. And unfortunately, we don't have all the resources right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a deep look into the slide AI, what we are doing, how it works, and what are the improvements, things we need to improve still. So we'll compare two models, one with 100 cents and one with 200 cents. As you will see, those will have two different databases and you will see the results change a lot. So this remarks how important it is to have a good quality database. So this is using the Microsoft database. This database has many noise, but with 100 cents, we are able to reach this 88% accuracy. And if we switch to the other model, we have the double number of signs. We have 200 cents, but in this case, we are using an, another open source database, the Australian National University database. And this one has very improved quality data. And you can see that doubling the signs, we get 92% accuracy, we get a higher accuracy. And to be sure we didn't do any tricks or anything, the same 100 signs that were on the previous model are also here, plus 100 new signs. So this definitely proves that the database improvement of quality helps to the model. Then, of course, the body tracking. How do we do that? We're using uh, Google's technology called Mediapipe. This is awesome because it's a technology that allows us to track hands, arms, body, and even facial expression. And there's lots of points. And even it detects uh, hidden points. For example, you can see on the right hand of the model, the thumb is hidden. So, and it still detects it. So it's very smart, very helpful. It works in real time. And it's continuously uh, being updated by Google. So they are working on it and they are improving it every day. It's really awesome to work with this. Let's talk about AI approaches. What's, what's what we have? What's the future? And what approaches should we take for voice recognition? So we like to differentiate between layers of AI to explain the process because there's multiple AIs to recognize some language. First, we have the body recognition. We need to recognize where the person is, where he has the hands or she has the hands and the face, etc. And this is done by Mediapipe. We already have this as we have shown. Then there's the frame recognition. This is knowing what each frame of a video means. There's a meaning to each frame. So we need to put a meaning to each frame. And finally, there's the union of these frames. A whole gesture like hello in American Sign Language is 
like a pack of frames. So we need to unpack this and be able to recognize words in among the frames. Then the next step, which we don't have yet, is the sentence recognition. For this, we need data with sentences, which we don't have right now. We only have data with words. That's why we cannot still do this process. And finally, we need the ASL translation to spoken English or any other language, as a matter of fact. That's where we need the study of the language. We need to, to know the grammar of American Sign Language very clearly, and we need to feed data into the AI to be able to understand the grammar and change it to English. OK, so to explain the next uh, problem or challenge, to be more accurate, about AI recognition, we need to understand how voice recognition works currently. As you can see in this image, if I want to say a sentence, the real sentence, for example, could be, hello, I'm Antonio. And when you apply voice recognition, what really happens on the voice recognition is that it's recognizing uh, sounds. So you can see there the text on the voice recognition, it's only sounds, it's not the sentence. Then the AI, what does, is tries to understand this mixture of sounds and creates words and sentences. So how do we apply this to uh, sign language recognition? Here we have, for example, the sign uh, family in American Sign Language. And as you can see, it has different steps, like the sign starts here and ends here. Those are two different positions from the hand. So one approach we could take is just separate stages. For example, one would, would be palms facing camera, the other one would be palms uh, parallel, and the last one would be uh, palms facing the face. And we could say family one, family two, and family three in this case. We could do it for n steps, for example, each different frame. And the other approach, which is the one we're using currently because we don't have the data for the artificial intelligence on the approach number one, is basically take the whole gesture, like the whole sign, as the same. This works now for 200 signs, but we are afraid maybe it won't work with 2,000 because there will be just too many possibilities. So we're coming to an end. Let's talk about what's the roadmap, what's the future, what we plan to do, and what are the conclusions of our research until now. So roadmap, as you could see, we have the prototype. It's done. It works in real time. This is already a step that we have on our backpack. Then next, we're going to the MVP. We are already started with this, but for the MVP, we really need extra data. We have several plans on how to get more data. One of them, for example, could be built an educational platform. We can do small models on an educational platform, put it on the web, and anyone can access it completely for free. And this would be a good way to get involved the deaf community to, to help us. And at the same time, we would be gathering data to be able to train better our artificial intelligence. Other solutions would be running through YouTube and asking permissions to use uh, ASL videos, uh, asking the government for official um, videos done with uh, interpreters translating in real time. And this would help a lot on the sentence, building sentences for an AI. Once we have the data collection, we will be capable of building the first American Sign Language translator. And when we have, once we have the algorithms for this American Sign Language translation, we can actually use all those algorithms for other language or other languages. So we can do multiple languages translation. We can translate from one sign language to another. We can translate from one sign language to a spoken language, whatever language. So. So yeah, this is cool and this is our roadmap. Uh, so the conclusions made me are that sign language recognition in real time is possible with current technology. Like if you pay attention to what I've been saying in the presentation, the whole problems we are having are on the step of data for the AI and getting more information and more resources on sign language. Like the problem is not on technology, the technology completely works in real time. And also another conclusion is that more data and better quality data is required. Just what I've said, we need more data and better data. And that's the focus that we're going to be aiming in slide from now on. And finally, um, 
we think that sign language recognition will be a reality in the next one to three years. We know other research teams are working on it. Uh, we are definitely working on it and we don't plan to stop now. And, and we think from the next one to three years that there will be already at least rudimentary stages of sign language recognition for sure. Here you can find bibliography in case you want to check the databases we mentioned. These are completely open source. Anyone can use them. Please feel free to check them out. Also Mediapipe, great technology from Google. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. We really appreciate any type of feedback you can give us. Questions you have, please check our webpage. Send us an email to info at slide.ai if you think you have any question or, or feedback or anything. And we would be really grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, DFIT, and have a good luck. Bye-bye.